Welcome to a comprehensive guide on counting cells containing negative numbers in Excel. In this tutorial, we'll explore two effective methods using the COUNTIF function and a VBA macro to accomplish this task. Let's dive into the world of number crunching. Assuming that you have a data list in the range of cells B1, B6, and you want count the number of negative numbers, and write the result in cell D1. Let's see the first method in action. We'll employ the COUNTIF function to tally the cells with negative numbers. In a new cell, type the formula equals COUNTIF B1 B6 less than 0 inches. Press Enter, and witness as Excel dynamically counts the cells with negative numbers in the specified range. The COUNTIF function will be used to count the number of cells in a range that match a specified criteria. So you need to put your range of cells that containing the data you want to the function to count the number. And it goes through each cell in the range B1, B6 and counts only those cells that match the condition. Then return final result in cell D1. So if you want to count the number of negative numbers through COUNTIF function, the condition should be less than O. When a number is less than 0, it should be considered as negative number. Now, let's delve into the second method, employing a VBA code snippet to count negative numbers. Open your Excel workbook and then click on Visual Basic Command under Developer tab, or just press Alt plus F11 shortcut. Then the Visual Basic Editor window will appear. Click Insert to Module to create a new module. Paste the below VBA code into the code window. Then clicking Save button. Back to the current worksheet, click on Macros button under Code Group. Then click Run button. Select one range of cells that you want to count, such as B1, B6. Select one cell that you want the final result to appear. You can see that the VBA code skillfully counts negative numbers in the specified range. With these methods at your disposal, you now have powerful techniques to efficiently count cells containing negative numbers in Excel. Stay tuned for more Excel insights. Don't forget to subscribe for future tips, and as always, thanks for watching.